Hi, I want to show you how to create some statistical tables in Power BI with the help of Python. So a lot of times when we have data set that has a lot of numerical columns, it's good to see what the relationship is between those two or three variables using a correlation table. And it's also good to be able to centralize all the metrics statistical metrics such as standard deviation, variance, min, max, quartile, all in one table. So I brought this churn data for from an HR data set to see which employees left and we have these numerical columns so I'm going to create a statistical summary table and a correlation table in Power BI and we're going to visualize those. So let's go over to Power BI. I've brought in this data set. So the first thing we're going to do is go to transform data in the top ribbon. We're going to open up the query editor and you can see we can, we have a table with our metrics here, such as satisfaction level, evaluations, number of projects this person works on and we can see if they quit the company here and with the help of a correlation table we'll be able to visualize that a little bit also so first thing I want to do is I want to keep this original data set so in its normal form so I'm just going to duplicate this data set by right clicking and and choosing duplicate once that's duplicated, I'm going to click the transform tab and go over to run Python script. As you see from this first notation, it says the data set holds the input data for this script. This means that it's already been brought into a pandas data frame for us called data set. So this data here is called data set. So because we have that in a data frame we can utilize some native functions in Python. The first thing we're going to do is create a statistical table. So I'm going to name my table stats and then I'm going to click equal and then I'm going to go back to that data set that's saving our data in that variable. Now we have access to it. I'm going to now create a function with period and then this function is called describe and then we enclose it with the parentheses. Now I'm going to run this and show you what happens. So the first thing that happens is we have the availability for two tables here. So I'm going to click stats to open up my table. Now we have our summary metrics here, but we don't know what those are. That's because the label has been replaced with Power BI's index. So we're going to go back over here so we're going to click the run python script now we're going to resave that variable by clicking the name that you chose to name in it and now we're going to reset the index so i'm going to put stats because all we're going to do is reset the index on our save variable and i'm going to write dot reset underscore index and then the parentheses and we have resaved it by using the variable so I'm gonna click OK it's gonna run that script again and now we can see that our index has the labels that we're looking for we have account standard uh, deviation the mean the min the max the quartiles here and then we can rename this statistics and 
let's say statistic labels and then let's also rename this table stats so now we have access to all that data all the summary statistics for those different columns the next thing we want to be able to do is create a correlation table that will show us how these numerical features are correlated with one another and then we're going to visualize that in a heat map I'm going to go back up to the original data set right click and duplicate then I'm going to go back over and run a Python script we know we have the data set here so let's name our new table I'm gonna call it correlations now I have access to that data data set then I'm going to initialize a function called core C O R R close it off with our parentheses and we want to do the same thing because we know those labels are locked in the index so let's resave correlations equal now we have our correlations because that's the table we saved it as dot reset index and our parentheses and we know we're gonna run this Python script we're gonna have two options let's open up our table and now we can see on we have the labels here so let's call these our labels we have them running along that the y-axis and then we see how everything is correlated here negatively or positively now this is difficult to see as numbers so we're gonna visualize that so let's change the name of this table by double clicking and let's write correlations then click home and I'm gonna apply this now we have loaded our three tables in we have our stats table which is literally just a table that we can access anytime we want to see different stats and this is always good to display so that's one visualization where we can start seeing all the statistics that we want to see then I'm going to sh go to our correlations table and this is where we can visualize what's happening so I have my labels and then I'm just going to create this table And I'm going to get rid of these totals. Now we were going to go over to our conditional formatting and we're going to start creating a background for our different metrics and let me quickly do that. And this will reveal where we have the highest so the first thing I'm going to do is make this a lot smaller uh, it's table style I'm going to click none and then I'm going to make our values smaller going to put that at 8 and then I'm going to do the same for our column headers and now we have a way to quickly visualize where we have some correlation so let's put that style as bold headers and I'm going to change the background and uh, 
not that's too black. Okay, so now we can see where things are correlating. For example, we see there's a strong correlation between quit the company and management. And there's the two there. We can see there's a lot of negative correlation. And of course, you can change this to different colors using the theme. So you can change it to where these correlations are using red and green if it's easier for you to see but that's just a quick and easy way to create some statistical tables in power bi using python i hope that helps please leave any comments or questions in the comment section or if you like the video or you have any suggestions for new videos just drop a comment 